Transportation officials are moving forward with a road project. They say we'll cut down on congestion along Highway 90 in Milton. Dave Gonzalez joins us live with more on what they plan to do and why some businesses are worried the traffic woes could get worse before they get better. David. Hey Jacqueline, I'm live right here off of Scenic Highway and Highway 90 and the project would actually start right here and head down toward Milton. Tonight the Florida Department of Transportation kicked off its planning phase, but there's still some concern by business owners along the way. Bonnie's pet grooming sits right on Highway 90 in Santa Rosa County. For almost 30 years, Bonnie Junker has worked out of this store. Junker knows how bad traffic can get on this stretch of road. At the busy times of the day, like 8 o'clock in the morning and from 3 to about 6, it's really busy. There are times it's really bad. When it's all blocked up, you can't get through. It's, it's kind of aggravating. The Florida Department of Transportation hopes to tackle the traffic problems. Their plan, expand 11 miles of road from Scenic Highway and Highway 90 to Glover Lane and Milton. Junker says a six lane highway would be great, but the thought of construction is scary. They've been over on Avalon working at the construction over there for so many years. I don't even remember how far back it was when they first started. And I watched how many businesses went out of business with that slow construction. Business owners like Junker and residents were introduced to the project development and environment study Thursday. They also got a chance to talk to department officials about the project. Who better to know except the people who live among the project and along the project who may be able to provide their input um, and suggestions along the corridor. Santa Rosa County officials are excited about the project because there has been a lot of commercial development in the area. We have more people moving in, into town. Uh, the uh, congestion and traffic uh, can be an issue. So this will be a, it's a long process, it's a process that will take years and um, but we need to be looking at it now on how we can uh, help relieve that congestion that we're already starting to see. Junker hopes future construction doesn't turn away her loyal customers. Most of them will continue coming. Maybe some of the older ones that find it a little bit hard to get through the traffic jams some might like hesitate. Right now, there is no funding available for the design, right-of-way, or construction phases of this project. Reporting live from Escambia County, I'm David Gonzalez, Channel 3 News. At the earliest, the study is expected to be completed by the end of next year. If you'd like to submit your comment, you can just visit WEARTV.com and click on this story.